during the commencement of the second term this year. Teachers laid down their tools to contest the move by government to keep a 25 billion shillings kitty with Uganda Microfinance Support Center. They only returned to the classrooms after the finance ministry handed the responsibility of keeping the money with the association coffers. NTV has seen several documents confirming that the money will now be handed to the beneficiaries. However, during the delegates' meeting for United Teachers in the Central Region, the question of how to use the money was prominent. Many of us have got a weakness in financial management. We need to put our priorities right. What do we need to do and how do we do it? We are even worried if the money was given to us in 2011 and now it is 2015, that money is even losing value. There are fears that many teachers lack business acumen and the ability to invest wisely. Let's not deceive ourselves that by mere teaching will make us become rich. Teaching should be one source of income. One of the core objectives of the union is to, to better the teacher. And if the circle is the path to make the teacher better, then so be it. Nabende blames it on the curriculum for teachers' institutions, which he says does not teach business skills, which is an oversight. According to United Circle leaders, the money will be given to eligible members in form of loans. The only way we can be able to track you, at least, is that you should be on government payroll. Two, you have to be a member of United Circle. Some members believe that they can put the money to good use. People have investment plans. They want to be better, like any human being. Other teachers affiliated circles will also get a portion of the money to help all the members of UNATO across the country access the funds. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.